on the mast cell plasma membrane fc epsilon ri receptors are present in type 1 hypersensitivity reaction IgEs first bind to these fc epsilon ri receptors the IgE binding results into a sensitized mast cell whenever the allergen binds to these IgEs for second time the IgEs are crosslinked due to this cross linkage the fc epsilon ri receptors undergo aggregation this cross linkage also causes ptk activation the active ptk then causes phosphorylation of phospholipid c in presence of phosphorylated phospholipid c the pip2 is converted into dag and ip3 the endoplasmic reticulum has calcium ion channels on its surface in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum calcium ions are present the pi3 stimulates the calcium ion channel as a result the calcium ion channels get opened through these open calcium ion channels the luminal calcium ions reach to the cytosol of sensitized mast cell the dag causes activation of pkc the activated pkc along with calcium ions are required for microtubular and microfilament assembly and the fusion of granules with the sensitized mast cell plasma membrane cross linkage of fc epsilon ri receptors also activates an enzyme the activated enzyme then converts the ps into pe eventually the pe is methylated to form pc the methylation of pe to form pc is catalyzed by pmt1 and pmt2 the pcs are accumulated on the exterior surface of plasma membrane this accumulation of pcs increases the membrane fluidity of the plasma membrane and facilitates the formation of calcium ion channels the calcium ions present in the extracellular surface then pass through the calcium ion channel and reaches to the mast cells cytosol this passing of calcium ions from the extracellular space into the cytosol is called as influx of calcium ions so this influx of calcium ions causes the activation of phospholipase a2 the activated phospholipase a2 catalyzes a biochemical reaction in which the pc is broken down to form lyso pc and another product called as arachidonic acid the arachidonic acid is converted into mediators like leukotriene a4 and prostaglandin d2 or pgd2 the leukotriene a4 forms substances like ltb4 ltc4 ltd4 lte4 ltc4 ltd4 lte4 are called as srsa srsa stands for slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis this srsa undergo secretion the prostaglandin d2 also undergoes secretion the cross linkage between fc epsilon ri receptors also activates the membrane adenylyl cyclase here it is abbreviated as ac the cytosolic atp then binds to the active adenylyl cyclase the active adenylyl cyclase then converts the bound atp to camp as a result the concentration of camp in the cytosol increases transiently within 15 seconds 
in presence of increased concentration of CAMP, the cytosolic inactive protein kinase is converted into protein kinase with active conformation. In this conversion process, the CAMPs are used up. As a result, the CAMP concentration decreases. The decrease in CAMP concentration is required for degranulation to proceed. The active protein kinases phosphorylate the granule membrane proteins. As a result, the permeability of the granules to calcium ions and H2O changes. As a result, the cytosolic calcium ions and H2O enters into the granule. Due to the entry of calcium ions and water, the granule undergoes swelling. This is a swollen granule having mediators like histamine. The swelling of the granule facilitate the fusion of itself with the mast cell plasma membrane. Due to this fusion, the mediators in the granule are released. This release of mediator from the granules in the mast cell is called as degranulation. The lysopecy in the sensitized mast cell plasma membrane is converted into fusogens. These fusogens facilitate the fusion of sensitized mast cells plasma membrane with the membrane of granules. As a result, degranulation occurs. So, we can say that the fusogens also facilitate the degranulation. Please like, subscribe and share.